The first station, Jesus is condemned to death. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Consider how Jesus, after having been scourged and crowned with thorns, was unjustly condemned by Pilate to die on the cross. My Jesus, it was not Pilate, no, it was my sins that condemned you to die. I beg you, by the merits of this sorrowful journey, to assist my soul in its journey towards eternity. I love you, my beloved Jesus. I love you more than myself. I repent with my whole heart for having offended you. Never permit me to be separated myself from you again. Grant that I may love you always, and then do with me what you will. At the closer station we be, so the mournful mother we be, close to Jesus to the last. The second station, Jesus carries his cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Consider how Jesus, in making this journey with the cross on his shoulders, thought of us and for us offered to his Father the death he was about to undergo. My beloved Jesus, I embrace all of the tribulations you have destined for me until death. I beg you, by the merits of the pain you suffered in carrying the cross, to give me the necessary help to carry mine with perfect patience and resignation. I love you, Jesus, my love. I repent of heaven repent of you. Never permit me to separate myself from you again. Grant that I may love you always, and then do with me what you will. 
His head crowned with thorns, and he had lost a great quantity of blood. He was so weakened that he could scarcely walk, and yet he had to carry this great load upon his shoulders. The soldiers struck him rudely, and thus he fell several times in his journey. My, My beloved Lord Jesus, it is not, not the way of the cross of my, my sins, which have made you suffer so much pain. By the merits of this first fall, deliver me from the misfortune of falling into mortal sin. I love you, O my Jesus, with my whole heart. I repent of having offended you. Never permit me to offend you again. Grant that I may love you always, and then do with me what you will. O thou sad and forgiving friend, now was he that mother blessed, of a soul begotten one. The fourth station, Jesus meets his sorrowful mother. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Consider the meeting of the son and the mother, which took place on this journey. Jesus and Mary looked at each other, and their looks became as so many arrows to wound those hearts which loved each other so tenderly. My most loving Jesus, by the sorrow you experience in this meeting, grant me the grace of a truly devoted love for your most holy mother. And you, my queen, who were overwhelmed with sorrow, obtain for me by your intercession a continual remembrance of the passion of your Son. I love you, Jesus, my love. I repent of ever having offended you. Never permit me to offend you again. Grant that I may love you always, and then do with me what you will. Woe be God, heart's frustration. Mother, be God, the fifth station, Simon of Jesus to carry the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Consider how the Jews, seeing that at each step Jesus from weakness was on the point of expiring, and fearing that he would die on the way, when they wished him to die the ignominious death of the cross, constrained Simon the Cyrenian to carry the cross behind our Lord. My beloved Jesus, I will not refuse the cross as the Cyrenian did. I accept it, I embrace it, I accept in particular the death you have destined for me, with all the pains that may accompany it. I am ready to your death. I offer it to you. You have died for love of me. I will die for love of you. And to please you, help me by your grace. I love you, Jesus, my love. I repent of having offended you. Never permit me to offend you again. Grant that I may love you always, and then do with me what you will. Who would mark from here? Christ, dear mother, on complaining, is a great a sorrow now. The sixth station, Veronica wipes the face of Jesus. 
We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Consider how the holy woman named Veronica, and seeing Jesus so afflicted, and his face bathed with sweat and blood, presented him with the towel, with which he wiped his adorable face, leaving upon it the impression of his holy countenance. My beloved Jesus, your face was beautiful before, but in this journey it has lost all its beauty, and wounds and blood have disfigured it. My soul also was once beautiful when it received your grace in baptism, but I have disfigured it since by my sin. You alone, my Redeemer, can restore it to its former beauty. Do this by your passion of Jesus. I repent of having offended you. Never permit me to offend you again. Grant that I may love you always, and then do with me what you will. Who on whom be all my wish, on The seventh station, Jesus falls the second time. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Consider the second fall of Jesus under the cross, a fall which renews the pains of all the wounds of the head and members of our afflicted Lord. My most gentle Jesus, how many times you have pardoned me, and how many times have I fallen again, and begun again to offend you? By the merits of this sweet fall, give me the necessary help to persevere in your grace until death. Grant that in all temptations which assail me, I may always commend myself to you. I love you, Jesus, my love, with my whole heart. I repent of having offended you. Never permit me to offend you again. Grant that I may love you always, and then do with me what you will. For his people sin free that day, she heard Jesus Station. The women of Jerusalem weep over Jesus. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Consider how those women wept with compassion at seeing Jesus in such a pitiful state, streaming with blood as he walked along. But Jesus said to them, Weep not for me, but for your children. My Jesus, laden with sorrow, I weep for the offenses I have committed against you, because of the pains they have deserved, and still more because of the displeasure they have caused you, who have loved me so much. It is your love more than the fear of hell, which causes me to weep for my sins. My Jesus, I love you more than myself. I repent of having offended you. Never permit me to offend you again. Grant that I may love you always, and then do with me what you will. So her son from God's visiting, her beloved and forsaken, filling spirit for peace and the ninth station. Jesus falls the third time. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Consider the third fall of Jesus Christ. His weakness was extreme, and the cruelty of his executioners excessive, who tried to hasten his death when he had scarcely strength to move. My outraged Jesus. By the merits of the weakness you suffered in going to Calvary, give me strength sufficient to conquer all human respect and all my wicked passions, which have led me to despise your friendship. 
I love you, Jesus, my love, with my whole heart. I repent of having offended you. Never permit me to offend you again. Grant that I may love you always, and then do with me what you will. On the love and holy sorrow, Mother, may my spirit borrow somewhat of your most profound. The tenth station, Jesus is stripped of his garments. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Consider the violence with which the executioners stripped Jesus. His inner garments adhered to his torn flesh, and they dragged them off so roughly that the skin came with them. Compassionate your Savior thus fully treated, and say to him, My innocent Jesus, by the merits of the torment you have felt, help me destroy myself of all affection to things of earth. In order that I may place all my love in you, who are so worthy of my love. I love you, Jesus, with my whole heart. I repent of having offended you. Never permit me to offend you again. Grant that I may love you always, and then do with me what you will. Unto Christ with your emotion, grace my contrite heart's the eleventh station, Jesus is nailed to the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Consider how Jesus, after being thrown on the cross, extended his hand and offered to his eternal Father the sacrifice of his death. For our salvation. These barbarians fastened him with nails, and then, raising the cross, allowed him to die with anguish on this infamous gibbet. My Jesus, loaded with contempt, nail my heart to your feet, that it may ever remain there, to love you and never leave you again. I love you more than myself. I repent of having offended you. Never permit me to offend you again. Grant that I may love you always, and then do with me what you will. Those my wounds are Jesus' name. Mother in my heart be breathing. Deep as in your own may be. The twelfth station. Jesus is raised upon the cross and dies. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Consider how your Jesus, after three hours agony on the cross, consumed at length with anguish, abandons himself to the weight of his body, bows his head, and dies. O my dying Jesus, I kiss the valley of the cross on which you died for love of me. I have merited by my sin to die a miserable death, but your death is my hope. By the merits of your death, give me the grace to die embracing your feet and burning with love for you. I give my soul into your hands. I love you with my whole heart. I repent of ever having offended you. Never permit me to offend you again. Grant that I may love you always, and then do with me what you will. You, my Savior's cross, who bear, and your Son's renewed share, let me share them both with you. The thirteenth station. Jesus is taken down from the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Consider how, after the death of our Lord, two of his disciples, Joseph and Nicodemus, took him down from the cross and placed him in the arms of his afflicted mother, 
who received him with unutterable tenderness and pressed him to her bosom. O mother of sorrow, for the love of this son, accept me for your servant, and pray to him for me. And you, my Redeemer, since you have died for me, permit me to love you, for I wish only you and nothing more. I love you, my Jesus, and I repent of ever having offended you. Never permit me to offend you again. Grant that I may love you always, and then do with me what you will. In the passion of my Maker, be my sinful soul partaker. We till death and keep with you. The fourteenth station, Jesus is laid in the sepulchre. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Consider how the disciple carried the body of Jesus to bury it, accompanied by his holy mother, who arranged it in the sepulcher of her own hands. They then closed the tomb, and all withdrew. O oh, my very Jesus, I kiss the stone that encloses you, but you rose again the third day. I beg you by your resurrection, Make me rise glorious with you at the last day, to be always united with you in heaven, to praise you and love you forever. I love you, and I repent of ever having offended you. Never permit me to offend you again. Grant that I may love you always, and then do with me what you will. I bid you be that sensation. Five our fathers, five Hail Marys, and five glory bees in honor of the passion of Jesus. And then one our Father, one Hail Mary, and one glory be for the intention of the Holy Father of Francis. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. 
Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Prayer to Jesus Christ crucified. Behold, O kind, O sweet Jesus, I cast myself on my knees in your sight, and with the most fervent desire of my soul, I pray and beg you to impress upon my heart lively sentiments of faith, hope, and charity, with true repentance for my sins, and a firm desire of amendment. While with deep affection and grief of soul, I honor within myself and mentally contemplate your five most precious wounds, having before my eyes that which David spoke in prophecy, they have pierced my hands and my feet, I can count all my bones. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. And with your spirit. Let us pray. Almighty and eternal God, in Christ your Son, you have shown the world. Guide the work of your church, help them to proclaim your name, to persevere in faith, and to bring your salvation to people everywhere. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory yes. to you, O Lord. Jesus moved about within Galilee. He did not wish to travel in Judea, because the Jews were trying to kill him. But the Jewish Feast of Tabernacles was near. But when his brothers had gone up to the feast, he himself also went up, not openly, but as it were, in secret. Some of the inhabitants of Jerusalem said, Is he not the one they are trying to kill? And look, he is speaking openly and they say nothing to him. For the authorities have realized that he is the Christ, but we know where he is from. When the Christ comes, no one will know where he is from. So Jesus cried out in the temple area, 
as he was teaching and said, You know me and also know where I am from. Yet I did not come on my own, but the one who sent me, whom you do not know, is true. I know him because I am from him, and he sent me. So they tried to arrest him, but no one laid a hand upon him, because his hour had not yet come. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. It's nice to come to you virtually in your homes to pray the station of the cross and to have Eucharistic benediction, a holy hour, so to speak. And it's so nice to be with our Lord, to pray these stations. They're very touching, aren't they? The meditations of the station given to us by St. Alphonsus the Glory. I'm sure, like you, I have been meditating upon each of those stations. In a beautiful way, I remember as I was walking those stations in January, in Jerusalem, carrying a cross and going station by station. It's very touching and moving. Everything is going on all around when Jesus was walking all the way up to his death from Calvary. People were in the marketplaces selling things. People were passing by. They were jeering at him, spitting on him, kicking him, pushing him. Sometimes I don't think we realize what was going on, so to speak, behind the scenes. But it wasn't just Jesus alone walking to Calvary. Many of his followers, and even today, you and I walk with him. And we have to understand that in carrying the cross, we're going to be criticized, and we're going to be, so to speak, kicked, pushed, shoved, spat upon, because of who we believe in and what we stand for. Are we ready to handle that? Think with God's grace we can handle anything. Even during this time of coronavirus, our anxiety, our impatience, our confusion, our doubt, our nervousness, and our fright. We can feel the heaviness of the cross. We can feel the jeering of people. We can feel the spittle on ourselves. Feel the anxiety. It's so palpable. But Christ is in the midst of all this. I want to go back to this gospel about when the Christ comes, no one will know where he's from. But they know where he's from. They know his lineage. They know his foster father, St. Joseph. Yes. In an earthly way, yes, they know where he's from. But he's the Christ. Maybe to get a little technical with you, they know where Jesus is from. But Christ they do not know. See, Jesus is the name of our Savior. The name given to him by the angel. Christ is the title. The title from the Father, the anointed one. And they don't know where he comes from. It's always to understand the humanity and the divinity of Christ. So when we reread this Gospel of St. John in chapter 7, think of that. Think of the humanity of Christ and the divinity. 
Never separate them, but understand them as the total person. Is not Jesus fully human? And at the same time, is not Jesus the Christ fully divine? Yes. It's a mystery of our faith. Theologians call it the hypostatic union. Fully human, fully divine. Jesus Christ. Is it no wonder that we always use both of those words, Jesus Christ, together? We know where he's from. He's Jesus, born of Mary in Bethlehem, raised in Nazareth with the Blessed Virgin and St. Joseph. He's the Christ. He existed before time. He was with the Father before the world even began. When the Christ comes, no one will know where he's from. How beautiful our faith teaches us this. And how beautiful you and I on this Friday of the fourth week of Lent can walk the Via Della Rosa, or the Road of Sorrow, the Station of the Cross, and go to each of those points, stop, think of what has happened, be with Jesus and walk along the road. Because if we want to be his followers, we must carry our cross and follow him. And in doing that, you and I will be brought to the glory of the resurrection. Because our mortal body also contains an immortal soul, does it not? We are body and soul. Our mortal bodies will die, and God pleads in our mortal soul to live for all eternity with God. Whatever we do, whatever we say, may be for the honor and glory of God and for our sanctification. God bless you. My brothers and sisters, our Heavenly Father sent His Son, Jesus Christ, into the world that the world might be saved and all might be delivered from the power of sin and death. As a pilgrim people seeking Christ's gift of everlasting life, let us pray for all people according to their needs. For the Holy Church of God throughout the world, that God the Almighty Father guide and gather together so that we may worship him in peace and tranquility, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our Holy Father, Pope Francis, Church, may give him health and strength to guide and govern God's holy people, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Nelson, our bishop, for all bishops, priests, and deacons, and for all who have a special ministry in the church, for all God's people, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all our brothers and sisters who share our faith in Jesus Christ, 
that God may gather and keep together in one church all who seek the truth with sincerity. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who do not believe in God or His Son, Jesus Christ, that the light of the Holy Spirit may help them to follow all that is right and show them the way to salvation, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who serve us in public office, that God may guide their minds and hearts so that all may live in true peace and freedom, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Gathering our prayers and praises into one, let us offer the prayer of Christ himself to us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Now in adoration holy, this great sacrament we held. Over ancient forms of worship, newer rites of grace prevail.
the divine praises. Blessed be God, blessed be his holy name, blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man, blessed be the name of Jesus, blessed be his most sacred heart, blessed be his most precious blood, blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar, blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete, blessed be the great Mother of God, Mary most holy, blessed be her holy and immaculate conception, Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be St. Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God and his angels and his saints. May the heart of Jesus, in the most blessed sacrament, be praised, adored, and loved with grateful affection at every moment, in all the tabernacles of the world, even to the end of time. Amen. Oh. 